What is the area of this rectangle? A rectangle has three equal parts with three equal circles inside, each with a radius of one. All the points you see here are points of tangency, and with just that information, can we find the area of the rectangle? First thing I wanna notice here is, since each one has a radius of one, we can, we'll draw something here. So what I'm gonna do is draw on this first circle, a line that goes down from here and perpendicular across to that point of tangency on the wall. We know that each part here has a radius of one. All right, and with that we create a square, meaning we have this as a length of one right here, where right angles going on, and this has a length of one. And if we wanna label that, we can call this you know, point E right there, so DE has a length of one, okay? Now, with that information, what happens here? We need to find what the length of EA is. We don't know what that is. Let's call it X. Well, if EA equals X, what about A to this point right here? What does that equal? Well, let's call that point E, uh, we see the EF, let's call it F here. Call point F. And that point is actually also X as well. It's a the two tangent theorem. We have a point here that has two lines that are tan both tangents to the same circle, meaning that these two lines are equal. Okay, so we both have a value of x here. Well, how does that help us? We have one side length, d a, has a length of one plus x, and d c. Well. I think you can figure that out. If the radius is one, diameter is two, two, four, six across the board, we have six right there. So we have DA is one plus X, DC is six. If I can multiply them together, I got the area of the rectangle, length times width, if I solve an X. What about the length of this diagonal? We have a right triangle going on right here. We got a right triangle. What's the length of that diagonal across? If I can figure out what that length is, well then I can figure out the use Pythagorean theorem, get my values here that I need for this triangle. But how can I find the length of, well, a C? To get that, it's a little tricky. We're gonna use a two tangents theorem again. Let's get a point here, EF, let's call this G right here. What's the length of GC? Well, GC has a length of, instead of six, minus that one, a five. Well, if GC has a length of five and it's tangent right here to that circle and F is tangent as well, what do we got? Well, that means FC has the same length as GC, meaning it has a length of five. And so AC is that X plus five, and now we can use good old Pythagorean theorem. Everyone's favorite little theorem right here. All right, so let's go, it's a squared plus a b squared equals a c squared. a squared, let's call that one plus x, all squared, plus b squared, across here is six squared, equals c squared, x plus five, all squared. Let's do some algebra here. All right, one plus x all squared, that's gonna be an x squared plus a two x plus a one, plus six squared is a 36, is equal to x plus five all squared. x squared plus a, uh, was it 10 x plus a 25. And then from here, we wanna get everything together if we can. x squareds cancel left and right, that's always nice and neat. Let's bring the uh, minus two x to the left, a right side here. Let's subtract a 25, as such, 2x cancels there. What do we got? Well, one plus, or 36 minus a 25 is gonna give me an 11, plus that one gives me a 12, and we have an 8x here. Divide both sides by eight, and 12 over eight is equal to x, which simplifies to be a 1.5, or one and a half there. So if x is a one and a half, we can find the area of the rectangle. Remember, area equals length times a width of a rectangle. Our length, let's call it the one plus x, so one plus a 1.5. 
times our width, six right there across the board. One plus 1.5 is a 2.5. Multiply that by six and we get a 15 units squared. And so the area of our rectangle here is 15 units squared. As always here, thanks for watching.